your channel Tension Yam Needs Learning Easy. Have you ever wondered why objects appear different color? Why mixing of new colors, uh, mixing of colors create new colors? And why we cannot see things in dim light or at night? Today I am going to tell you the answers of all these questions. And all these questions are a part of physics. So today's online session is all about so let's start. So let me tell you first what is our white light consistor. We know all the rainbow ke mein hai. and we know that white light uh, transmits and disperses and that is why a rainbow is formed. So white light uh, is actually composed of several lights, uh, yeah, colors, several colors. Okay? And uh, that is with your, as I think we all know about it. With your means violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So this white light contains all these colors. But when we see different objects, we find we see some objects are red and some appear blue, some appear black as well, some appear white. So why is this difference, and how is this difference created? So let me tell you first what happens. Koi bhi object me jab plainly ek white light padta hai. Okay? White light falls on an object. What we know, what we feel is ki jab hum kapre kharidne jate hai to any dye is used which gives it a red color or a blue color or a green color. But actually it is not so. Jab white light kisi ek object pe fall karta hai, okay, then it has a dye or that material which absorbs some of the light and reflect other. Let me aapko clear karti hoon, jaysse aapne, aap ya aapne imagine karo ek red t-shirt or a kurti, right? Now, with a white light is falling on this red kurti with blue plazo or blue pant. So why this kurti is red and why this pant is blue? Now what happens when a white light is falling on these two clothes? So this portion, this kurti which is appearing red to us is actually absorbing all other colors and reflecting only red. Right? Whereas the blue pant which appears blue is actually absorbing all the colors of the white light and reflecting only blue. Right? So, the dye use, hota hai, jo material use, hota hai, actually, its purpose is not that it is red color to produce. Kar raha hai. Uska, uh, main jo, um, function is that it is not 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 that it is book or any other object it appear it uh, absorbs all other color and reflect one color so if it is reflecting red we say this is red uh, red t-shirt red shirt or whatever and if that other object or any other cloth is absorbing all the colors of white light and only reflecting green then we'll say it is a green t-shirt or a green shirt now what about white and black that is also very special case. You know why uh, this board is white? Why this uh, pen is white? Because the objects which seems white to us, right? It absorbs all the colors. Sorry, it reflects all the colors. And because it reflects all the color, it does not absorb anything. And reflection of all the colors again comes to us as white. Whereas what happens in, is in black is vice versa. The white or the black object, whichever object we are finding black, is actually absorbing all the colors and reflecting none. And so we don't find any color. And so we say it is black. So this was all about how different objects appear different color. White is white. Because it is reflecting all the colors. Black is black because it is absorbing all the colors. And other colored objects, they reflect one color. And which appears to us as this color object. Now my second question was, why do mixing of colors create new colors? Now imagine there is a red color substance. 
or red as uh, while paint then children use red and then they use orange on it and a new color is created now let me tell you how when that color was reflecting red and when we added another color this new color is not reflecting red the mixing of these two colors is reflecting another color okay and so we find another color when two colors are mixed okay because the reflection changes now my third question was why things look gray and we cannot see objects in dim light at night it is very much related to the white light because in dim light or at night there is no light on the object so what is happening actually it is reflecting none and so it appears black or gray so this was all about physics that is effects of reflection of light which is actually responsible for all these three questions i hope you like this information and thank you so much for watching hope uh, to see you again tomorrow with a new topic thank you